Hello and welcome to another The Ray Zone channel video today. We will preview stage 9 of the Tour de France 2023 and in the end I will give a short recap of the stage 8. So before I start I would like to ask you for a favor if you could subscribe to the channel it really helps and if you like cycling if you like this content then you will not uh, regret subscribing here. So let's move on uh, the stage is 100 and uh, oh, sorry 183 kilometers long from Saint Leonard de Nobla to a mountain top finish at the Puy de Dome. Uh, some rolling terrain before the final climb. It looks a bit like a Vuelta stage with uh, one uh, mountain top finish, but it's it's pretty it's pretty harder than those Vuelta stages. Uh, we have the sprint uh, for the points at 30 km on a, an uphill section, so mm, I don't know if we will see a break forming there or before, but probably it's a good uh, chance for the breakaway to form. Some good climbers uh, will for sure try to target this stage. Uh, Ruben Guerrero, Felix Gall again, maybe Ciccone. Those kind of guys, uh, rolling terrain is hard to control the breakaway. They can build a, a, a nice gap if uh, Yambo doesn't want to control it and to chase because uh, this kind of finish maybe suits Pogacar, he can take bonus seconds in the end, so are they going to risk on this kind of stage to pull all day? I don't think so. Uh, UAE also doesn't really uh, look that uh, good or strong in controlling those breakaways, so maybe today, uh, tomorrow is a nice opportunity for the breakaway. Uh, we have uh, three categorized climbs, uh, Côte de Feletin, Côte de Perchot and Côte de Pontamur, uh, four categories Category climb, four category climb, and third category climb. So nothing uh, significant, but still um, a couple of points to collect. So maybe Nelson Powell will again try to go in the breakaway because if he if, if the breakaway succeeds, then he will take a lot of points because the Puy Dome is an all category climb, uh, 13.3 kilometers at 7.7 percent. But uh, last uh, five uh, kilometers are really steep, as we can see in the. Uh, next picture uh, here it here's the climb so it starts like uh, at, at around seven percent then flattens out in the in the middle and it's really steep in the end so last five kilometers are like uh, all, all uh, above eleven percent so Pogacar versus Wingard dueling incoming for sure uh, we will see them battling out the weather will be extremely hot now in the Puy de Dome it will be some 33 degrees by the time they reach the the climb so maybe that favors uh, Vingegaard a bit more because we know that Pogacar is better in those rainy and cold conditions uh, they are going to the west uh, and the, the, the wind will be uh, sorry they are going to the east and the wind will be from the west so that means they will have a, a tailwind all day and now let's look at the odds. Uh, bookmakers have Pogacar as the favorite, but uh, not not that clear. 3.75, Vingegaard at 5, then Michael Woods probably, they think that, that he will try to go in the breakaway. Israel really need to start uh, going for the breakaways, pushing, because they didn't have much success uh, in this year's tour. Uh, Chicone and Felix Gall, like I said, at 19. Uh, Skelmose also dropping out of GC contention will for sure try to go in the breakaways. Uh, Johannesen, now Hindley, that's, uh, that's I think, uh, small odds for him. I don't see him uh, doing that well. Uh, Pino also for the breakaway. So uh, we see that uh, that um, the bookmakers also think that the breakaway has a nice chance of succeeding tomorrow. Uh, but I think uh, I, I agree with them and I think that this is stage for someone like Felix Gall So if I was a betting man that I would for sure try with him tomorrow and a small recap of the today's stage stage 8 uh, as expected uh, we saw a lot of teams try to uh, move in the breakaway in, in the beginning uh, Lotus Udal were really trying with uh, Asgren with um, De Klerk and in the end the clerk um, and ended up in the breakaway uh, but only two other guys were with him Turgi and De Laplace uh, then the breakaway was controlled by uh, Intermarché they thought that Bini has a chance today uh, Jumbo Visma also tried to attack Pogacar at one of the climbs but it was too shallow and they didn't uh, manage it so in the end we had like a reduced bunch sprint with uh, Pedersen winning in front of Philipsen, he was really strong and Wout van Aert in third, 
he was blocked by Philipson uh, to his left uh, and Van der Poel and uh, Pedersen to his right, so did, he didn't really have a good sprint. Rune Megan in fourth, then Ekov Kokar, the boys uh, Tira Strong and Pogacar. Uh, what was interesting uh, today is that Simon Yates lost a bit of time. He is now sixth in the GC uh, and he was fourth previously and unfortunately Mark Cavendish uh, crashed and got injured. So his uh, dream of winning the 35th stage at the Tour de France and uh, being alone uh, in, at the top of the stage record is now uh, finished because this is uh, his final season so he will stay at 34 like Merx. Uh, thank you all for watching, uh, once again like, share, subscribe, uh, have a great day, bye.